Hey guys, it is Emery out here in the woods with you and I wanted to show you all of our bucks because breeding season is upon us. So I um, wanted to uh, let you guys get a glimpse. Um, uh, here they are, not in with the girls. Um, so these are our bucks. Vlad is our largest buck back here, um, laying down. Um, he, let's see if I'll get him to stand up. Um, there we go. So very large, very large buck. Um, we've got Taser here, and we've got Pentagon, and Shipwreck, and Dimitri, and Titanium, and Tesseract. Um, so that's all those guys. Those are the Alpines. Um, they um, go in earlier than the Nigerian Dwarfs. Um, we put them in. Alpines have a longer gestation period, so it's actually 150 days for Alpines and 145 for Nigerian Dwarfs and um, we typically like to have our kids um, beginning of February-ish is typically right around when we um, prefer to start having our alpines born and then we typically do our Nigerian dwarves um, offset and following um, the alpines so the, the stragglers um, in the alpine kiddings are the um, beginning uh, rush for the Nigerians. So these are the Nigerian dwarf bucks. Over here we have um, Violent, which is a not an apt name for him. He is very very sweet. Um, he is blue eyed, um, so he's super cool. Um, and I love the I love the like almost orange color that he has. We have Esteban. He is our um, black um, blue eyed buck out of uh, Ellen Way. Um, and then we have Neverland here. Neverland has these moon spots on him, you can see. Um, and he throws um, some pretty moon spotted babies. We've, we've had a bunch of those from him. This is Iroquois. Um, Iroquois is our <coughs> polled buck, um, or one of our polled bucks. Iroquois is the new genetically polled buck that we brought in. And then this is Video, um, who looks surprisingly like his dad, Copper. Um, and he is our other polled buck. So. And we have three different polled lines. We have Iroquois line, um, Copper's line, and Integrity's line. Um, and those are our three polled lines so that we uh, can make sure we're not um, inbreeding or line breeding on any of um, any of the polled genetics because uh, polled genetics have a history of being line bred and um, inbred significantly and so um, a lot of times you see trouble um, genetically with some of their kids. So we make sure that we um, are super careful to never inbreed or line breed any of our polled, um, not that we do that with any of our um, non-polled, but we, we take a step further and move it another generation um, back than what is standardly uh, recommended. So. Just wanted to show you the bucks. They've got this pen out here in the woods. Um, so they've got, we actually haven't split the Nigerians have that side and the Alpines have this side. Um, not because this isn't enough land, but because we want them to take as much as possible so it doesn't get overgrown. Um, so the Alpines have this side. This is the older side. We've got um, larger trees on this side. It's a little bit more shady. Um, and they need, the Nigerians don't need quite as much space over on that side. Um, so it's a little bit smaller as well. But just wanted to kind of give you guys a look at them um, before they're in with their girls and uh, let you guys uh, stay updated. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. I'll catch you guys later. Work hard, get dirty, use good soap. Go!